right, ladies and gentlemen, what is up? What is up? That's Pepper here. Wake and Play is live. We are rock, rocking some more Alien 3 here for Hortober. And we decided to switch over to the Retron 5 system, which is that 5-in-1 emulation machine that plays real cartridges and still uses real controllers. Apparently there's a problem with using uh, my other capture card and uh, the real system. Super Nintendo, the sound wasn't syncing up, so I'm not quite sure what's wrong with it. So with that in mind, I'm going to reset the game here so I can put the password in, hopefully. I forgot, Super Nintendo. <laughs> So hopefully there should be no sound issues this time, I'm, I'm thinking, should be. I don't know if I want to do this uh, scan lines or not, this one doesn't look right. I'm so used to seeing this on the Super Nintendo now, that this is probably going to feel all fucked up between the controls being laggy to bigger screen. That's not CRTV anymore, we're not playing this on HD. No, no. I keep forgetting to put the password in here, hitting the button too many times. I'm scared to see how much lag is going to be in the controls here after being so used to peeing or playing on uh, the real hardware here. I feel like there's already somewhat a delay in the button jumping, so we'll see. All right, level four. This level is a bitch. We tried this last night for about two hours and really didn't do much. See if I have any better luck today. Hmm, feels like there's a delay in the shoot a little bit. It's not horrible. It's definitely noticeable. First terminal. All right, baby, what you got for me? Machine mania, that's right. Nothing ever works around here. What are you talking about? Exterior level. That's the first door we come to. It's okay. I don't know why I don't remember this from last night. We, as much as I played and we had to redo this level. I love the exploding aliens. So awesome. So awesome. So in this game, you play as Sinead O'Connor. He looks like a pissed off marine just doing some bug extermination. Because apparently this has nothing to do with the movie, so I don't know what the hell else this would be. I sure as hell don't remember all these face huggers and guns and aliens and Alien 3. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. Oh, you bastard. Look at me, I can jump! Yay! Little bastard got his little fucking shoes. He's got his Reebok pump ups, he can jump. The fucking music rocks. 
So, I might have to start playing games on the Retron 5 here. Which, I guess is alright. I mean, it still feels like you're playing somewhat of the original. Even though it is technically emulation, there is still a delay. I'm sorry, buddy. Did that hurt? Suck it! Let me get the green flame here, please. I love the green flame. Oh, I was supposed to go down the ladder an extra level. God damn, they're everywhere. Sweet, we now have the gas flame. This bitch is uber powerful. Way to go. Damn, the dude down there just won't stop popping. <sighs> I hate the face huggers in this game. Facehugger, especially the ones that jump, are the most annoying creature I've ever played in any game. And that takes a lot of, uh, there's a lot of enemies out there that are more annoying, like, uh, Medusa heads and shit, but no, these things take the cake. I fucking hate these facehuggers. Toast, you're such toast. Get off of me, you asshole. How the fuck was I not hitting him? I'm gonna try jumping over him, but that's not working either. Mm, so much for all my health here. God damn, man. I'm doing pretty shitty today. I just realized I'm almost out of ammo here. <coughs> or at least machine gun ammo. I think I'm gonna have to make an ammo run. And probably another health run somewhere. Oh, it's on the other side. That's harsh. Alright, I 
so no just where to go let's go up here this time there's the terminal on the other side plus there's some ammo and health and all sorts of goodies as long as I don't die <laughs> die you bastards Yes, I know the mission's over. The mission was a success. Because Sinead O'Connor is one badass Marine you don't want to fuck with. Sweet. Fill me up. Fill me up, buttercup. Control here, free and fry. Aliens are breeding L cell block ten. Oh shit, that's right next to me. Look at that. I'm so lucky. Some more health here, and I think this is the weapon. Let's go restock up on weapons here. Come on, get inside! God damn. suck so much. Or should I say, I suck so much. So much for all that lovely health I just picked up because I can't stop running into shit. Twenty two health. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, that's even better. Oh, man! I might not make it out of this room alive. I think I might have to do this a couple times to restock up on shit. I don't know if this, is gonna, this doesn't look like it's even back yet. Fuck you. Fuck you! Pretty sure it's not back yet. Yeah, I didn't think so. Jack today, man. I'm gonna blame this on emulation. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I didn't see him. So fucking many. They get carried away with these face huggers. Get off me, you asshole. Fuck. Die, stop it. I'm out of fucking flame or fuel. Okay, just endless supply, huh? I hear some hissing. I feel like we're fighting some kitty cats. Fuck, all I got is grenade launcher. Oh, I just guess I do got flame fuel. Stop sucking! Shoulder button should be, uh... Both of them should be map, so I don't have to keep hitting the select button. If I can hit the shoulder buttons to bring up the sensor... Make my life so much easier. Man, I'm just running out of ammo left and right. Could have just shot him and it would have been probably alright, but nope, I had to try jumping over him. Sure, just keep walking into him. God damn! What the hell is going on? I need to take a step back here. Why the fuck did that not hit him? It's like every two seconds I'm getting hit. This is ridiculous.
Take your time. It's not a fucking race. That's the good thing about this game. There is no time limit. I miss the days when it would take one grenade to kill those dudes. Oh, sadly, everything takes two. Well, at least the health is back. What the fuck? That doesn't make any sense. Farming at its best. Damned if I do, damned if I don't. Super search! Okay, so this involved going down to... Ignition for mine 18. And connect it to generator in weapons room. I think I know where that's at. Mine should be right there. Okay. Simple enough. Simple, but so, so hard. Take a slight detour into, I guess, uh, this room over here. So I can get maybe shit to respawn. Uh, don't die getting in there, though. Yeah, I can't jump over these guys with the right accuracy. Fuck that. Weapons have respawned. Sweet. Enemies have respawned, not resweet. Why does my aim have to suck so much? Why do you suck so much? You such garbage, you total trash. Porsche had to hit me somehow still. Oh. 
God damn it. I'm gonna die just trying to fucking get ammo and shit. Sorry, I didn't want to live. I didn't want to live. Sure. I don't know if I can play this on this fucking system without the, all this lag. Can't even get on the fucking ladder here. Yep. Christ. Oh, and all of a sudden it's just fucking gone. That's, that's great. Alright, so this was mine area 10, and uh, I got fucking 14% of health. I don't really give a damn at this point anymore. I think this is pretty much over. Wasting my time. Of course. going this way. Dude, I don't know what the hell's happened, but my gameplay just went all down to shit. Expect there to be nothing down here. I'm dead. I'm so dead. <sighs> I gotta decide whether I want to try keep playing it on this or go back to real hard work because I feel like there's just so much lag here that's fucking me up. Not to mention, this TV is just too fucking big, man. Playing this on a 40-inch TV does not help.
Alright, so we're doing this again. I'm giving this another shot on this. Before I decide for I to fuck around and do it on real hardware. It's really a pain in the ass when they're on the fucking stair, or on the stairwell, and you're trying to go up and down it. Sure, buddy. Get you that free hit in. really kind of frustrated the fact that uh, some kind of audio issue now and I can't figure out what it is. It was working fine the other day the first time I streamed it but after that I don't know why it's been fucking up ever since. Cereal. That's the fucking bullshit, man. Shoot me in the ass while I'm on the ladder. Real slick. Love to sneak up on you when you're trying to repair shit. Oh, this is the part I hate. I can already see all the face huggers just roaming around down here. Keep trying to sneak up on me while I'm trying to repair shit. Get off of my face! I 
Well, at least I got it repaired. These guys will stop attacking me and shit. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, apparently my shots are going right through these guys. Yeah, there's definitely a delay here, man. I wonder if I got my TV in picture mode or game mode. Fuck you! Fuck you! Ah, this game pisses me off now. Sixteen percent health, hell yeah. I'll just have to deal with the fucking sound. I, I don't until I can figure out something else. I don't know what else to do here. So we're gonna switch back to real hardware here, man. Just woke up. Game over, man. What's going on, man? So we switched this over to the Retron Five and playing on HDMI because I still have a sound sync issue, which I can't seem to figure out. So and then playing it on this 40-inch screen TV in HDMI with the uh, lag input is just not helping so I think we're gonna switch back over and just have to deal with the sound issue I, I don't know what else to do here cuz I I can't really seem to play this today on the 40 inch screen on HDMI I don't know what was going on it worked the first time I played this game on Monday it worked fine and then after that it's just been downhill since then I don't understand why doesn't make sense so I'm gonna take a few minutes here and switch back to the other one and uh, maybe I can figure this out tomorrow on my day off for the audio issue. Be right back.
we're back. <clears throat> so this is probably still going to have audio sync issues. I don't know. I tried looking into it a little bit last night before I went to bed uh, as to why it was doing that. And it kind of ticked me off because not only did it do it on last night's stream, but it did it on the one in the morning too when I streamed in the morning. So for some reason, the audio was fucked up. I don't know why. I'm sure it probably still is. I apologize. I'll have to try maybe see if I, my other capture card works, or I'll have to try deleting this program and maybe trying something else. But either way, I cannot do it on the Retron 5 with that big-ass screen TV. It's just not working. So, we went back to real hardware here. No more fucking around. Probably not gonna do any better. Let's watch, my gameplay is not gonna improve any at all. One of the things I felt was it's taking too long with the lag to shoot. That these monsters were getting closer than they than I <laughs> really wanted them to. So with this, I have time to react and shoot them quicker. Especially being so close up to the screen like this. So how's it going, Adam Bomb? What is up, my dude? Thank you for stopping to get your WAP on on this Friday afternoon. So let me know. I'm sure there's still audio issues, but let me know if it looks like it's still there. I don't understand why all of a sudden, you know, it works Monday, but nope. After that, it was all messed up. Yeah, the Retron 5 does have it, because it's basically, you're using real cartridge in the controller, but basically what the Retron 5 does is it rips the, the data off your cartridge and reads it and runs it via emulation. So basically what it is, it's an emulation machine that uses real cartridges. And while some games, I, I, it doesn't really bother me, this one it does, because like I was saying, you're so close to the screen, the aliens come so close... You have to be quick and shoot them before they get up and hit your shit. And because there's a little bit of input lag, I couldn't feel like I could do it quick enough. I was getting hit so much before I could even react. Some games, like I said, I, it doesn't bother me. It's still a pretty cool, neat machine, though. I mean, if you're looking for HDMI... And a way to easily play all your games. That's pretty cool. If you don't mind emulation. If it uses a real cartridge, why is it emulated? That's weird. I, I don't know. I don't think it... One of the reasons why it is is because there's like five different machines. Actually, it does Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Genesis, Master System, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Famicom, and Super Famicom. And to have all those systems into one would be extremely hard, so that's why I think it uses emulation. Trying to get a uh, machine parts for all of those systems, I, I would see that being extremely difficult. It's definitely not FPA -G or FPGA based, though. Not to mention, I'm playing right now on, I think, is what is probably a 12-inch screen, 15 maybe. It's definitely not, not a 20, and it feels and looks so much better. It was made for a CRTV, not HDMI 40-inch screen. I'm sure the picture quality is pretty shitty, but... Health down here, I think, and the green flame. I was not successful in beating level four. I'm hoping I had better results today. See, this already feels just so much better.
Oh, buddy, suck on that grenade. How did it taste? Yo, how'd that grenade taste? Yeah, it's all right. That's what I figured. That's disappointing. I wish I could knew why. I really wish I could figure out why all of a sudden. I might have to, like I said, delete the program, reinstall it. I do got another capture card I can try too. Even though I don't think it's as good. Maybe it is the filters you add a filter. It's possible. I don't know anything about adding filters, so that would be something I have to look into. I never had to do any of that before though. I don't, I don't know why all of a sudden it's doing that. I was having a mic issue, my voice is better. My friend helped me, that's nice now. Nice. It's stuff like that that makes you want to pull your hair out. Because, like, one day it works, the next day out of nowhere. Nope. At least the sound doesn't happen first and then the fucking action. Because that would be a little more distracting, I think, than at least having it happen a couple seconds after. Maybe use Reno because it hasn't updated most likely. <clears throat> it's possible too. I'm gonna try something different here. Let's go ahead and remove. That's <laughs> alright, man. I appreciate it. There's a couple things I can try. It's gonna take. It's gonna suck. I might have to do this tomorrow, but oh, I gotta reshape and resize everything again. Damn. my other drip. There it goes. Um, other than that, I don't know. Let's take one final look at here. Recording preset. One thing to keep in mind when discussing the righteousness of pure original hardware is actually the Nintendo head. 
Goombastic, what's up, man? How's it going? We were trying to get back into playing this. Uh, we, we were playing this on the Retron 5, and I decided I couldn't deal with uh, all the lag and bullshit in there, so we switched it up back to real hardware. And I'm still dealing with audio issues here, apparently. I don't understand why. I think it's going to make it bouncy now. Oh, yeah, it's jumping up and down. Well, that's about the best I can do for now until I can figure this out later. Yeah, if you watch the stream a little bit here, you'll see there's a delay issue where the, ha the sound happens a couple seconds after it actually happens. Like going through the door, you'll hear it open later than it should. Or shooting or jumping. I mean, it happened the last two or three days. I could try that, yeah. That might be an idea. Give me a second here. So we have tried resetting it. Let me know if you see an improvement here. I didn't even think about pulling out and unplugging it. That'd be silly if that was all it was. Amorak 2 is from what I understand, not really user friendly. Okay, so we have like half a second ahead of the stream. That's the issue, yep, exactly. So it appears it's still doing it then. Fucking Amrak, dude. I hate this goddamn system. I wonder if there's a new update to Amrak. Or what version I need to update to. Stock up on some ammo real quick here. Some people are saying that the new, uh, you have to change your FPS settings here to like 29.97 to 30, which is what I did, and it's still not doing anything. Yeah, I was thinking about maybe I could restart it too. Maybe that would help. I haven't done restarted my computer. I didn't feel like doing that yet. I don't know if playing on real hardware is doing any good for my gameplay or not. I'm still sucking. And I wonder if it's just a Super Nintendo. I'll have to check into that. I hope it's not like the NES and the NES and uh, 
Genesis stuff too. That'll be disappointing. That's weird though, because it wasn't doing this the other day. At least in a retron, chances are that it'll affect one because at the end of the day it's outputting from the same device. Yeah, we were trying on the retron earlier. I don't think it was uh, getting any sound issues, but then again, I was getting lag issues with my controller and I wasn't digging that. Free and fresh. So, which one was this one again? Cell block 10. I think that's right below me. Wait, where the hell is cell block 10 at? Oh, that's right. It's, yeah, right next to me. I see you were playing Ghostbusters and you read one. It was fine and one was that play. That was like last year. It might have been two years ago. I think it was last year. I said it was just playing fine Monday night. I think this just started yesterday. Did it update any programs after Monday? Maybe the update made an issue? It's possible. I don't know if it did or not. I'll have to take a look at it. But. Nothing else. I'll try. Like I said, uninstalling it, reinstalling it. It shouldn't be that bad. See if I got the newest update. Restart the computer. That doesn't work. I got another capture card I can try. I'd rather not use it, but... That would have been my first place I'd run. Yeah, I should have done that. Like I said, I went to bed late last night. and Oh, actually, I was really tired last night and didn't get a chance to this morning. But I'll definitely try to restart before I try the uninstall for sure. Right in the pooper when I have my PC real wide stream like this up sometimes if I do not restart. Yeah, that's probably all it needs is a nice restart. I'm hoping. I mean, I've had this thing for a while now. I have no issues. Never had an issue while streaming. Sometimes uh, when I had shitty internet while I uploaded it to YouTube, there'd be an audio problem. That's YouTube. That ain't my problem. Help! Ooh. I'm gonna leave that other health there just in case. I restart my PC like once a day. I should, dude. It's been a long time since I restarted mine. I hate doing mine sometimes because it feels like it takes forever to restart it and get loaded back up and shit. Hope you're real proud of yourself for that one.
Mm, I still don't think I need that health. Oh, that's right. There's a moving platform. Oops. Get down. I'm ready to pick a new game, actually. I don't know. As fun as this game is, maybe we're ready to start a new game tomorrow. Problem is, it's already the 15th. We're halfway through the month, and I've only played three games. Yeah, three games. When was the last time you closed a program myself and reopened it? Because I do that. Oh, I do, did that quite a few times last night. The stream program and the uh, Amarak. Do you, do you use uh, real hardware when you stream or is it an emulation? I only ask because I'm trying to find maybe another program other than Amarak to use. Yeah, I use Streamlabs. I was thinking about one of these days, uh, I can figure out how to use uh, OBS. I need to really figure out how to uh, get in there and really get into it. Do some cool shit on here. Use real hardware. What kind of uh, do you use? Amarac? Uh, I think it's spelled Am Amarac. Let's see if I can find the web page for it. It's a capturing program that a lot of people use to uh, capture real hardware or something like that. Well, I use Streamlabs too, but when I use real hardware uh, like this with the capture card because I'm splitting, I uh, also split the signal to go to a real TV, I use Amarac to capture uh, the gameplay and then use it for Streamlabs and Streamlabs captures that and you just do a uh, display cap. Generator's going down for mine 18. But one of these days I need one. I want to learn regular OBS. And you can do some cool shit apparently with that. Run multiple things because when I have slobs running, and I try to run like what I mean. Yeah, that that does help. I find that uh, if you don't have enough memory, it might not work. But I usually have no problem. Like I said, when I play games on real hardware, I usually cap and play it on another TV. So I'm actually playing on the CRTV. I was gonna say this sounded familiar. <laughs> oh, oh. Hmm. You know what? I'm here at the weapon armory. Let's go fucking armor up. Not sure how it helps because the stream is just fine with just slobs. Well, I mean, if you don't need to, yeah, don't go. I wouldn't worry about it. I only do it because, like I said, I, I split screen my shit. I love playing off of a CRTV. 
It probably just needs to be restarted. Probably, I'm pretty sure you kept it in the Xbox One. Um, <clears throat> I was starting to, like, I wouldn't mind using the Retron 5 to capture my stuff, but there's too much delay in this game. That's the same way I do. I don't know. That's interesting, though. What type of capture in Streamlabs do you do? Like a game, display, or a window? Alright, we're out of here. Let's go. Get the shindig done. I'd love to beat this level today. So once I get done with uh, Halloween, we go back to our normal themes here. And uh, any game that I don't complete or beat that I still want to play and beat, we're going to add to the list for Wrap Up Wednesdays, which is a theme for beating games I've played on stream. Just haven't had the time to do it. So Wednesdays at night will be dedicated to games I haven't beat on stream. With the video, so it was like some revolution shit right there. Yeah, dude, that was fucking awesome. I'm still loving it to this day. Especially since I can still watch chat on the PC monitor while playing the game on the CRTV. That's the real benefit. I just gotta glance over real quick. <laughs> Don't you hate that shit? Me partaking in uh, a little bit of that THC, I forget all kinds of shit, dude. My memory is not very great. What am I repairing these for? That's not my mission. Yeah, basically, uh, using AMRAC, uh, plug everything the capture cord in, or the capture card and stuff like that, use that program, and then I use a display or a window cap from that for Streamlabs. That's what I, uh, I'm displaying right now is a windowed AMRAC. Oh, the question I think was, how do you, when you capture, what kind of capture do you use? Is it display, window, or game capture? I mean, from your source. When you pick source, do you pick game, window, or capture? Why do I keep falling through it? Oh, that's awesome. that was there. Sweet! Rock over London, rock over Chicago. Quick estate. Hmm, how the hell? My set is a bit different because I'm on, not on a tower. I'm not on a tower. I'm not on a tower. I'm not on a tower. That's pretty cool. Ah, video capture device. Okay. Makes sense now.
is that bad? Um, I mean, if you're not having any issues with it, I wouldn't worry about it. I think that might actually eat up more sources, though. I mean, more resources. I don't know. Hey, if it works on your setup, fuck it. Don't worry about it. It might? I don't know. That might be something more of... You have to... One of the things you could try doing is having your... Uh, while you're streaming, pull up your PC fax and see how much CPU it eats up. If it eats up more that way, I would try doing a window capture. Which you might need a program, though, for that, though. But if it works good for you... Shit. It's possible, though. I'm not really... I don't... Not really good with tech. I mean, I could probably do a test right now. I'm out of curiosity. I don't really see it though. It's not detecting my capture card for some reason. Why try doing it via that way? It's weird. Whatever. And for some reason, whenever I try to do it under video capture device, it doesn't. When I find my capture card and put it there, it doesn't find it. No. Going back. If we're looking at something up online. I'll use my phone, but I cannot use my PC because it would lag. Oh, I know the feeling, dude. I used to be like that on my laptop when I was using XSplit. <laughs> XSplit was horrible. Am I going the right way here? I don't think I am. Oh, wait. Yeah, I am going the right way. There's usually a big one down there. I don't understand why he's not there now. <laughs> it is strange because my laptop runs Play Skyrim fine. I don't know. How old of a laptop is it, too? I don't have a capture card. My my computer doesn't have any kind of capture card except for a Intel HD Graphics 4000. Woohoo! But I do got 16 gigabytes of RAM, so that does help. As a matter of fact, in order to use my HDMI capture card for my Xbox and any other HDMI device, I had to get a uh, better processor because the other laptop I had was an i5. It wasn't enough. I would try doing it and it would just lag. So I had to get an i7 here. Man, I'm actually doing pretty good here. We got full health. We got a lot of... Let's see how much ammo. 18 rounds. 20. I'm doing pretty damn good. What the hell is going on? I'm fully stocked, loaded, cocked, ready to go. I mean, that could have done without running into that motherfucker, but, you know... Electric storm. 
All right, let's rock it. There are junction boxes down in assembly hall four. All right, so we just got to find assembly hall number four. Assembly hall uno four. Uh, so I gotta go up and down, basically. I love that one. Oh, you asshole. I will never stop getting ammo and health if I can pick it up real quick. So tired of walking in air ducts here. I wonder how bad five and six are gonna be. At least this one's got two terminals on it. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get hit. I knew it. I couldn't turn around quick enough. Oh, this one does not want to get off of me. Neither does this. Come on. Oh, now we get to go back down. We haven't been down here in a while, actually. So I don't know tonight uh, I'll be back on playing this or maybe rocking some Back for Blood. I'm kind of in the mood to play some Back for Blood. Don't know if Mindfrack is going to be around for that, but I will be definitely playing quite a bit tomorrow. Hopefully it's my day off. I ain't got shit going on. This one's all about fixing junk boxes. Oh, I remember this one. I ran out of ammo and flamer fuel quite a bit. Run out of patience here, apparently. Twenty-one rounds, damn! Start using some of my machine gun here. I wish you can get an upgraded machine gun, man. This thing's starting to feel kind of weak, though. Fair, they drop in at the worst possible moment. Nope, oh, out of flame or fuel. That's not good. Hope I don't have any more to fix in here. Shit out of me. The donut. Oh my god, what's going on, donut? What's going on, bro? Long time no see, man. Thank you for the host, man. I appreciate it. Welcome to some horror tober, bro. I'm about to die here. This is not good. Reverse, but I want to see that impersonation. Oh no, oh god. Reverse, reverse might be better. 
Game over, man. Game over. That was more, I think... I don't remember. Well, my, uh... I think mine was i5-5000, maybe? I don't remember now. How much RAM do you have in that? Apparently, we're gonna have to restart this again. <sighs> 8 gigabyte. Okay. That should be alright, I mean, as long as you're not doing too much taxing. I know I have, uh, mine, I think, was 16 gig on both my heart laptop and this one so maybe that might be a small part of the issue I think I'm gonna take another break here cuz uh, I've never seen this series how's it treating you this game is pretty brutal right now it, it was easy up until level 4 level 4 is extremely brutal I've tried it over and over again and I'm not having any good luck with it but I think it has a video card in it yeah mine doesn't either mine's just uh, integrated well, we're going to fire this up again on level 4, and I'm going to step away for just a quick second. How's it going, Donut Man? I appreciate you stopping in, but uh, yeah, this game is... On the Super Nintendo, it's fun, but this level is frustrating. Like, I played this for almost two hours, and I cannot get by this level. I was... Shit, looks like my controller's cracked here. I never noticed that. Um... I managed to say I was doing good here for a second, all of a sudden it went straight down the pooper here. But we'll be right back here in about two, three minutes. I apologize, I'll be right back. Take a bathroom break here. It's not like most classic games. I know it was an SNES game by difficulty. We are just gonna ask that, I swear. <laughs> yeah, of course. I said it starts off pretty good, but then this level just gets brutal because of all the backtracking and the amount of wandering around you have to do.
right, so let's give this game another shot while I was sitting out there chilling, uh, enjoying a nice tasty waterfall. <laughs> Go look that up on YouTube. Uh, I'm not going to get into that one. <laughs> but anyway, while I was out there doing a waterfall, I'm sitting there thinking, I think this might be the last time I play this today. After this stream, or after I'm done with this stream, we will be picking a new game out of the magic Blue Pumpkin of Evil to start either tonight or tomorrow. And unfortunately, we'll probably put this game on the back burner and add it to Wrap Up Wednesday. Ever play Evil Within? The game really enjoyed it super hard, which kills a horror element and a tiny. But the gameplay is super fun. I've my brother played it. I've actually never played it. I actually I think own it. I've never played it. Um, but next year um, we're gonna be for Halloween probably doing a probably zombie related theme. I don't know yet. So I'm just gonna throw that out there. I've got a lot of games I want to play. Like I've been sitting on Evil Dead. Part 2 or Resurrect. One of the Evil Deads for the Xbox. I really want to play that. So Next year is going to be even more interesting, I think. It looks so scary. I can't handle stuff like that. I live for stuff like that. I just, I love games like that. Alright, so... I'm almost kind of tempted to go in different order here, but we got all the way down to Electric Storm. We had four more left. These missions just take too long here. Wait, we have to go to. I already forgot what we're supposed to be doing. Waste Area 11. Many times I've done this one, I should remember it. Joss, what's up, homie? You're getting to be a big boy here. What's going on, Mr. Jaws? You want to say hi to the camera there? Go do something. Go do something productive. Don't bother me. I played through Alien Isolation. It is pretty scary, but I love Alien so much more. My favorite. I hope you enjoy the game. Mr. Jaws. Fuck yeah. Baby Jaws. He's getting big, man. Yeah, he's already... He's like a year old, and he's pretty damn big. can't really play too much with him. He hurts, man. His fucking... When he bites... He really is like a fucking killer fish. We named him Jaws because he looks like a, a great white with gray and white on his belly. Plus, he had a stupid name anyway. Somebody named him Fish, which I didn't really like. I seem to be using up a lot of flame fuel here. So I'll probably be going to be getting a new kitten here within the next couple, probably about a month here. Uh, my stepmom is trying to help me get another one. So that'll be interesting. Give him a little buddy to play with. Hopefully he doesn't... <laughs> or they get along on like Miss Kitty and Jaws, because those two didn't really get along. Evil Within is definitely a game that's going to be on that list, probably. Probably I'll probably add it next year, actually. There's even Evil Within Part 2. Or I'll just make next year, I'm not from a Castlevania. I'm sure Dead Zero would love a Castlevania all month long marathon.
starting to get a headache too, so I may call it quits here soon if it doesn't get any better. Yeah, it's his favorite kind of game. <laughs> well, I will admit, uh, I think the second year we streamed uh, Horrortober, there was a lot of Castlevania games that just kept, for some reason, get picked one right after the other. I will say that. I played uh, Evil Within 2, so I'll give my opinion. It's a stupid story here. It breaks up the tension. Now, that's kind of sad. You ever play the game Outlast? That one's kind of freaky, I'll say that. It's about uh, you're like a photographer going into a haunted asylum or something like that, like taking pictures of shit. That game freaked me out. Outlast was pretty free. Both were them great. Oh, you played both of them. Man. See, Outlast kind of reminded me somewhat of Alien Isolation. Even though I've never played Alien Isolation. Thank God it's giving me flamer fuel. I was just about ready to run out. It's an endless stream of them. I cannot get to preparing it. Holy crap. I've heard it said how much I hate face huggers. I hate them. I hate every single one of them. I also suggest Fear is an FPS, but it's also an entire whole. Fear is another good one I keep hearing about. For some reason, I want—I had this determination and will to play an old FPS game on the computer called Blood, which I think uses the Duke Nukem engine. But I've been seeing videos and people playing it for Halloween, and I'm like, man, I really want to play this shit. There's a lot of new type of horror games that come out these days that I could try. But I felt like I wanted to get the space one out of the way because, you know, all good horror movies eventually go to space. That's what we need a Freddy in space now. Anyone here a horror fan see the new Chucky TV show yet? There is, I don't know if anyone's familiar or knows, but there is a Child's Play TV series on uh, USA or Sci-Fi that's done by like the original, the original creator and it's even got the original voice of Chucky. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about, man, that sounds badass. I cannot wait. I think I've played it before, but it's been so damn long. My head is aching right now. This is not good. And today is Friday. I hate Fridays. That's the worst day of the week for me for working. So fucking busy. I hate Fridays, damn it. Most people are glad it's Friday. I can't stand them. Boy, I haven't gotten into horror in a while. To be honest, I usually find them kind of corny. I enjoy Child's Play, though. Cabin ones also stand. Showing up to shop. <laughs> I don't know, it's crazy. I grew up watching horror movies as a kid. It's still one of my favorites. I can't wait to go see uh, Halloween Kills tomorrow night. <sighs> Get off the ladder. 
Get off my face. Oh, and 13 Ghosts, that movie triggered me as a kid. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Is that the one that had, uh... Oh, crap, I can't remember her name now. From American Pie, Shannon Elizabeth, was it? I'll be seeing the trailers. Turns out I've been seeing the trailers for I've never been a big deal to Cabin in the Woods. I thought it was kind of cheesy, but really a... Oh, not really a horror movie. For some reason, I don't really remember that one. I remember uh, Cabin Fever. That was a cool one. I'll take a side trip and get some ammo here. I looked it up. You nailed Duchenne Elizabeth. I'm not even that good with actors. That's what I thought. I don't really remember her name. I just kind of remember them boobs. I think that's all that was. The boobs is what it was. My friends got to see Cat in the Woods and I watched it. I'm like, eh, it was okay. I'm going to have to watch that one again. It's been a long time. Last year for Horrortober, we played, uh, every night of the week, we had a horror movie play on our Discord server, which was pretty cool. But it's also kind of a burnout too. 31 different movies. I don't think we missed a day. We're still doing that in the Discord. As a matter of fact, Monday night we got uh, Night of the Creeps playing. Which I don't think I've ever seen that movie before. But hers got Tom Atkins in it, so... I mean, how bad can it be? Tom Atkins, man. He's the fucking man. I thought it was funny. And later moments of the film were just pretty satisfying. I'm gonna have to check it out. It's been a long time since I've seen that one. Oh, shit. You wanna see a funny ass horror movie? Watch Slither. That shit cracked me up. Pretty gory, too, if I remember right. Torch that dude. I kind of end up watching horror movies for satire, so that's probably why I like that. <laughs> My older brother, man, that's all he ever watches is horror movies. I remember we'd get on the weekends when uh, we had the weekend off, we'd get five different horror movies and watch them the entire weekend. And sometimes we do them all in one night. Did you know 13 Ghosts is actually a remake of a movie? I thought it, yeah, I was going to say, I thought it was a remake of another one. A pretty shitty one, I might add. I think the original one was better. But I haven't heard of it. It looks like that would be I might have to put that in the Discord server one of these days. I'm still thinking about one of these days making movie night a regular thing, like maybe every other Monday or every Monday or something like that. Lord knows between <coughs> me and Gumbastic, we got enough movies we can show. And anyone else who wanted to participate and show some movies. Haha, <laughs> torch your ass, son. I think Slither would have probably made a good, uh, 
Halloween Horror Tober 21, because I think that's about aliens or some shit. It's been a long time since I've seen it. I'm pretty sure between the two of us, we could run a unique movie every night for the whole year. Yeah. Especially if I would have thrown away and got rid of so many of them, because I remember I did get rid of a lot of my shit. I just got too much. But I think I have like a whole suitcase of movies between myself, and that doesn't include what my brother has. This might be my last run here today, for right now. I think uh, my headache is really starting to hurt now. Ah, now I recognize a horror tool. That was a predator. I was like, where do I know that now? <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, dude, I figured out how to make the font. And that uh, I love. I don't know if you've noticed in the panel down there, the horror tober section. I made that picture myself with the. Uh, Predator uh, NES box with my head on it. That's another thing, man. Learning how to stream and learning how to make my own designs and fonts and stuff has been kind of a fun. Everything I've designed on my own, I've never paid anybody for any of my shit. And that's the best part, knowing it's 100% yours. Well, I mean, other than the font style. It is not sadly, but they got a movie called Rattlesnake, one of my favorite movies from Tales from the Least Letters. Kind of like, eh, that's actually kind of cool. One movie you can watch for free on Netflix, I think, if it's still there, is. Uh, fuck, what the hell was it now? I was going to say I would recommend it's a good horror movie by Peter Jackson, but now I can't think of the name of it. Oh, Dead Alive. There we go. Dead Alive. Look that one up on YouTube. You know Peter Jackson of uh, King Kong and Lord of the Rings trilogy? He made some horror movies, and they were pretty brutal. Pretty fucking disgusting. I think Dead Alive is considered one of the most bloodiest movies ever made. Also, it's Matthew Lewis in 13 Ghosts. Oh, yeah, I remember him. Shaggy. Night's Tale is a great one, too. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. I was not to forget the tale of Ricky. <laughs> you talking about Ricky Bobby? No, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> He's also in the first Scream. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Speaking of Scream, that new one coming out. I don't know, man. I'm surprised they got all the original actors back in it again. Is Wes Craven directing it? Because it's not OG if it's not. <coughs> oh, I should have hit up the fucking... Eh, let's go hit up the armory real quick. Was Craven passed away for Oh, that's Diddy? Oh, shit. I feel... I don't remember that. He cannot direct it. Maybe his ghost is directing it. Damn, that sucks. That's a bummer. We need a new Nightmare on Elm Street movie, man. That last one sucked. I don't think that'll be a dead Zerling movie. I don't think he wants to see. Two thousand five. Wow, that was a while ago. What the hell did I? Was I? I don't remember that for some reason. I 
do really like Elmsford. Those were really pretty disturbing. I forgot what was my last scene. It was a marathon a long time ago. The new one with the guy that's not Robert England. That one was pretty shitty. I check and see what mission I got here, because I thought I was supposed to go get the generator. <coughs> then I won't do in the mine area, because the generator's already in there. The generator's going down. Even though the one piece I need to get is already in there. That's interesting. Where did it go? I love when they just disappear, man. You feel like it's a cheap hit. It just comes out of nowhere and disappears out of nowhere. This aspirin needs to hurry up and kick in, man. Wait, they changed Freddy? Oh yeah, dude. The new Freddy's horrible. They not only does he look bad, the makeup was bad, but uh they kinda changed him and made him into like a child molester, which they never really mentioned he was a child molester, he was just a child murderer. I mean those two are very big differences. Just gonna throw that out there. I don't know, I didn't like his new makeup, too. Floating through the platforms. I say, why is it so hard to jump on? Holy shit! I love how it just feels so much better than emulation. Can I repair this without you? Oh, I don't need to. What am I doing? We're here to pick up a generator. Although I got a feeling I'm gonna have to come back here and do some repairing later on. There's all kinds of shit in here. There's prisoner, broken fuse boxes. What's up with that? Okay, the remake came out in 2010. The Freddy was played by Jackie, who played Ron. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I did not like his his portray of our four night friend Freddy. I don't blame him because I just I blame the makeup. I didn't think the makeup looked good on him. Wait, how did I finish it? I'm still carrying it. I think I glitched this mission out. Just like I got glitched through the floor there. What the fuck just happened? So I was supposed to take this back to the weapon room, but I guess I don't have to now? Because I got the submission saying it's done. The way I see it, the OG actor Freddy carried these movies. Why change a good thing? Six movies. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. He can't play Freddy anymore, though, unfortunately, due to his age. It's just like Pinhead. I, I guess the new Hellraiser are going to make Pinhead a female. Which I guess was supposed to be closer to the books. But it's just like, I don't, I don't get why. You know? Why can't they just make a new character who's like woman who's like evil and shit and it was his boss or something. Why just make a new character? Why make something and change it? Uh, I guess that's the way it was supposed to be in the storyline. What do I know?
<laughs> I think we're gonna go down to the next one because the next one is the assembly hall. Really don't have a lot of health for that. Pretty much like leave Britney alone. <laughs> leave Britney alone. Leave Pinhead alone. Just leave him alone. Doug Bradley, stop doing Pinhead. Have reason out part six, if I recall. You're not like directions going on. But I like only the first three. Yeah, the first three movies were good. After that, it really did go downhill. I will not deny you on that. Oh, I'm kind of worried. This is where we died last time. I still have him carrying the generator around. This game is still glitched. There's an invisible ladder. <laughs> I wondered how you get onto this bitch. I like it. Nice. Because, <coughs> man, did I need all that shit. Hidden ladders. That was pretty sweet. I always wondered because I kept thinking there's got to be a way to get down there. Maybe from the other side there's an invisible wall? Out of the way. So I don't think I've ever finished this mission. So if we do that, we're ahead of the game here. So far, it hasn't given me any boss missions. What is that thing at the bottom right hand for? Um, that was for the previous mission. I was supposed to take that from one room and put it in uh, the generator in the weapons room. But we hit the weapons room first, and it was already in there. When I went to pick it up, the mission was over, and I didn't have to put it back in. So now I guess I'm stuck carrying it. I, it's glitched. I don't know what the hell. I've never seen that happen before. I'm just as intrigued as you were. Mission has completed. I'll have to remember this room. If I ever need that quick health, I can come in here and grab that easy, easy health little pickup right there. I wish I could put the generator there. That would be sweet. Everything is falling victim to being rewrote by folk. Too bad it wasn't being written badly. Yeah, I don't know. I'm getting tired of it, dude. Like, it feels like they're just shoving it down our throats now. And we're the ones complaining if we don't like it because they're changing the way they're doing things. Salvage and Scorch. What do we got? The generator in Assembly Hall 4 was blown power pack. There's a spare one in Surface Area 2. What if I already have one? We need to pick up the power pack and get it into gener what hang on a second. Hang on. I still have one. <coughs> I wonder. 
Can we do this mission like super quick? <coughs> oh yeah. So apparently I still gotta go pick it up. That sucks. So we put the power pack in there, but apparently it still wants me to pick it up. Why aren't those guys in the background helping? I don't know, that's a good question. They're just sitting there chilling, smoking their cigarettes, jerking around. They're probably waiting for me to die so they can get a hold of my body, being as I'm the only female on the planet. Alright, so I guess I gotta go find where surface area and bit this motherfucking power supply for some reason. Generating assembly hall four. This game is whack. Damn shit, that is whack. Alien quarter number five. Oh, joy. So I gotta go all the way to the top, all the way through Alien Corridor, and all the way to that one just to pick up a generator that's technically already in there. I'm surprised how many AI fill screen at once is pretty active. Yeah, it pretty is. I'll give you that. Knucking futz here. Shit, I'm running out of health here. Really hope this shit's respawned. No. To make a trip to Ammo and AP room. I'm gonna have to. I'm hoping I can stay here for a minute and let that other ship respawn. God damn it. No! <laughs> I need that shit! I need to find out where there's some health real quick. Alright, I'm hoping it should be back now. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Come on, no! That's how it ends, huh? Jumping into a fucking face hugger who's on another level above me. That's great. I can't believe that shit. Well, I guess I'm going to have to pick a new game here and put this shit on the back burner. I really wish you can get more than one fucking life in this game. I hope you pick AVP. Uh, there's quite a few of them in here I hope I pick. There's one in here I hope I don't pick, and that's... uh. God, what game was that? Um, Predator on the NES. Really hope that one doesn't pop up. But let's go ahead and pause the game here. Mute it. I don't have to call it quits because my head is pounding. There may be a chance I will come back and play this game tonight. I don't know. Um, but definitely tomorrow we're going to rock this game. Whatever I pick out of here as soon as I set the mood. Uh, 
All right, and the magic game we have tomorrow is... Okay, well, it's something different, I guess. We have Predator 2 on the Sega Master System. Not what I was hoping for, but I guess it could be worse. It could be Predator on the NES, which I still don't know why I put that in. Um, that one may be a short stream, I think. I don't know. If it's anything like the Genesis version, I'm not going to be playing it. So we may pick another game tomorrow. So, yeah, tomorrow at 12, we'll be rocking some Predator on the Sega Master System here via emulation. And uh, hopefully I'll be back tonight with something. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry I had to cut it short, but my head is pounding. Yeah, I was kind of hoping for something different, dude. I'm kind of bummed by that one. I was just like, ah. All right, maybe I'll make it a short one. I have all day tomorrow. But thank you guys for watching, man. I'm hoping to get into some of these other games here soon. So, uh, peace out. Have an awesome day. Take it easy, bros. And we'll start some Predator 2 for show tomorrow. Later, guys.